Hi guys, it's me, Grandma Lily, and it's time for Story Time with Grandma Lily. I hope you all had a great day today. It is Wednesday, May 13th, and it was a nice day today. I got to go outside for a little while, and then I got some good news. I found out that some things are going to be opening next week, so a little bit at a time, we're going to get to go out and do more things. Remember, though, you have to wear a mask. And today, we are going to have a very interesting and special story. So, before I start, I want to say hello to my babies, Elijah, Jordan, Kylie. I love you. I miss you. I can't wait to see you again. And my, my granddaughter, Serenity, I love you. I miss you. I can't wait to see you again. And today, we're going to read a book about a puppy. It's about a very, very special little girl that wanted a puppy. And the name of the book is How Smudge Came. And the name, I'm guessing that the name of the puppy is Smudge. We'll find out though. But the story is by somebody named Nan Gregory. And the pictures are by Ron Lightburn. So this is the name of the book. Get your stuffies, get your cookies and milk. If you have a stuffed puppy or if you have a real puppy, Bring them over and have, have, have the puppy sit down and lay down with you because we're going to learn all about Smudge. Okay, so here we go. How Smudge Came. How Smudge Came. Story by Nan Gregory. Pictures by Ron Lightburn. Looks like there's a little girl there walking in the rain. If there's one thing... Cindy knows. This is no place for a puppy. Up goes the puppy, tucked into her bag, and home goes Cindy. So it looks like Cindy found this puppy outside and it's raining. So she put the puppy in her bag and she's taking the puppy home. If there's one thing Cindy knows, it's don't let anyone see. Cindy sneaks upstairs to her room. Is that you, Cindy? Yes, Mrs. Watson. You're late. Dinner's getting cold. Right there, Mrs. Watson. Puppy goes under Cindy's bed. At the big table, everyone is eating already. Cindy fills her napkin with stew for the puppy. No dessert, Cindy? No, thanks. Her chair squeaks as she pushes it back. Up in her room, Puppy eats hungrily. Dear little puppy, crooned Cindy. If there's one thing Cindy knows, this is her dog. Knock, knock on her door. Cindy, in the closet goes Puppy. The door opens. They never wait for her to answer. Cindy, John is drying the dishes. You can put away. Cindy concentrates on the plates. Don't break a plate, Cindy. Think about the plates, not the puppy. Back in her room. Oh, puppy, what did you do? Cindy cleans up after the puppy. Puppy sleeps under Cindy's covers. If there's one thing Cindy knows, this is her best friend. Ring, ring. Get up, Cindy, get dressed, go to work. What about puppy? Take him along. Cindy works in a house called hospice. Dust pans and buckets and disinfectant. Up and down the halls, in and out of all of the rooms. Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. She likes to make things shine. Into the pocket of her big yellow apron goes the puppy. Out of the closet come the brooms and the mops and the polishers. Up and down the halls go Cindy. In and out of the rooms. And there's the puppy looking out of the apron. Here's Jan, who isn't very old, but he is ugly with disease. And he is going to die. Sometimes tears trickle out of his nearly blind eyes. Clank! Is that you, Cindy? Yep. In her apron pocket, the puppy whimpers. What's that sound, Cindy? 
What sound? You didn't you hear it? Cindy puts the puppy on Jan's bed. Oh my, oh my, a puppy. Can you see him? Not really, just a smudge in the dark. Cindy smiles her slow smile. Same when I first saw him, smudge in the dark. At lunch, Cindy eats her sandwich on the back lawn. Smudge eats a bit of breath, bread and sniffs around, then back into the apron for the afternoon. When Cindy gets home, people are shouting, Cindy, what's going on in your room? What did you have in your room last night? Uh-oh, sounds like Cindy's in trouble. They're gonna find out about Smudge in the dark. Cindy's not telling. Her lips are tight and her eyes are squinty. She breathes through her nose. Cindy, stop being silly. Cindy is leaving now. Someone blocks her way. Someone opens her bag. Hands snatch the puppy. Smudge! Cindy, be reasonable. Now that they have the puppy, everyone is reasonable. You can't have a puppy. You can't take care of it. You work all day. What would the puppy do all day while you were at work? Well, take him with me, Cindy says, but they drown her out with their words. She tries to tune out, it's PCA, she hears. Good home. She will not weep, but steers, tears squeeze by. She starts to hum. I bet that's how Cindy keeps from crying, by humming. I would be upset too. Go to your room, Cindy. Next day, Jan props himself up. Where's Smudge? What, what would the puppy do all day? You can't take care. You can't have a puppy. Cindy is furious. Jan lies back. I think Cindy's upset. I don't think she's really mad at Jan, do you? After lunch, Cindy is back in Jan's room. What's SPCA? A place that looks after animals until someone comes to take them. To a good home? That's right, Cindy snorts. Where is it? I'm not sure, east side somewhere. Cindy brings a phone book. Find it, please, Jan. Cindy, I can't see. I can't read the phone book. Well, who then? Carmen, maybe. Cindy finds Carmen in the TV room. Carmen writes the address on a piece of paper. Cindy folds it carefully. It's far away, but Cindy has a bus pass. If there's one thing Cindy knows, it's how to get around. When a bus stops, Cindy shows the paper to the driver. Take the number one, number nine, all the way to Knight Street, the driver tells her. Good luck. SPA keeps smudging a cage. The floor is hard and cold. He's lying on papers. Good home. At closing time, the clerk tells her, come back on Saturday at 10 if you want the puppy. I'm getting smudge on Saturday, she tells Jan. They give him away on Saturday. Saturday is chore day at the group home. Cindy, what's wrong? You usually like to clean. Dusting is done and Cindy is gone like a leaf in the wind. She is panting at the desk. I've come for my dog. Which dog is that? My puppy, small and black, smudge. I'm sorry, all the puppies went this morning. Come back next week. We're sure to have more. Cindy sits in the park for a long time, but the hurt won't stop. Every time she breathes, 
if there's sir if there's one thing cindy doesn't know it's how to find that puppy crying won't help cindy makes a whistle with a blade of grass between her thumbs here smudge here smudge there's no place to go but home I can only see Cindy's back here and she looks sad, doesn't she? Cindy, there's a phone message. What does Cindy care for messages? She lies on her bed and hums. Cindy, they want you at hospice house first thing in the morning. You aren't in trouble, are you? At hospice house, everyone is in the living room. Jan is up. Jan never gets up. Is the TV broken? What's going on? Is there trouble? If there's one thing Cindy doesn't need, it's another scolding. She starts to tune out. Cindy, we have something for you. Cindy, look. Something soft is in her arms. Something cold nuzzles her chin. Cindy opens her eyes. Smudge! We'll keep him here, says Jan. For you, Cindy. For all of us. If there's one thing Cindy knows, this is the perfect place for a puppy. The end. And this book There doesn't seem to be a dedication in this book. But this book is about a special, Cindy is a very special person. And so um, Cindy lives in a group home because she has Down syndrome. And Cindy works in a hospice, this is, which is where people go when they're sick. So Cindy's a very nice person. She took in Smudge. She goes to the hospice and she's nice to the patients and that is the kind of person we want to be right guys a nice person that is good to everyone and now cindy has her puppy so if you guys have a puppy go give your puppy a hug and i will see you tomorrow with another special story grandma lily loves you bye bye